The green drink, the cool concoction that helps me hang on. Hey, hey y'all, we're on our way to the curb market because I am having a craving for something dense and filling this evening. And I think I'm going to go with a acorn squash soup with a little, some kind of maybe a little red chili in there, maybe some lime or lemon or a lemon ginger cube thrown in, which also was lemon ginger cube because I said juju. <laughs> okay, and then maybe um, some sun-dried tomatoes, tomatoes, acorn squash. We'll have to see what we can see and what is vibrating and calling my name or on the cell table, right? So, which is usually what's really ripe and ready to be eaten today, and I need to eat today, so it's a perfect duo of love and light. So, I wanted to say that, and you can come back to the kitchen, and, and um, we'll make some dinner together, okay? But I also wanted to say this, that Tanny Raw has been over on Facebook. I have a Tanny Raw Facebook, and I also have a Tanya Murphy Facebook, who, that's my real name, and... I don't know which one's which, and when messages come in, and and um, I, I really don't know how to use it. But guess what I did do? I uploaded a video on YouTube from Tanny Raw. It was brilliant, and Christopher was impressed. And anyway, so if y'all are talking to me over there, I don't know. If I see it, it's very random because I really don't know how to navigate Facebook because I was not allowed to do that before, but now I can because I'm grown and I'm the boss of me and it's great. I mean, ultimately I could even get a tattoo if I wanted. <laughs> if I could decide on something and you really can't exchange those, so I can't get that because I'm the queen of returns. So I will not be doing that, but I will tell you this little tidbit about me. I used to have a nose ring right there back in 1987 and that is before nose rings were cool. So there you go. <laughs> So, anyway, also, it's exciting. On the sale table, they had not acorn squash, but they had butternut squash, which I'm going to show y'all how to use in a soup. They had tomatoes. They had garlic. They had lime. Um, a little avocado, which I could slice on top. Jalapeno pepper. Some carrots for the sweetness. And some long green onions. That's what we got. Do you know how much we paid? four dollars and nineteen cents bam y'all that was a heavy butternut squash and the thing is you might be saying I mean that would really be enough to feed several people but I'm, I'm gonna eat all that myself but the thing is you might be saying um well you might be saying that's cheap for a dinner you could clearly make that into a dinner for four people if you wanted to and if, if they're not people that eat raw vegan then you can even add like some corn chips on the side or different things christopher will eat the soup i'm gonna make that'll be like a soup slash dip and he likes that with some um blue corn tortilla chips that i get over at trader joe's or he might also eat that like with some little very oh, just a little bit because he's not crazy about greens that are in a smoothie um but he would eat like romaine he also likes mustard greens, which is very ironic that he likes that, but he does. Inside of like an Ezekiel sprouted wheat berry wrap, which is definitely a jump up from a white wrap, right? Let's really look at the nutrition. Are we just thinking about, are we getting the macronutrients? Or what about the micronutrients? You know what I'm talking about? So getting in, you can't really just say, um, well, you know, I could have had a meal at I don't know, of ramen noodles for, for 50 cents, Tanya. That's not the same thing. You know what I mean? We've got to talk about getting nutrition. Or you can go ahead and eat ramen noodles for dinner and be salty in the morning and, and hungry 30 minutes later because you got zero nutrition. You basically got a cup full of salts, what you got, and processed what's almost like powderized noodles, that's not a food, it's a filler, you know what I mean? 
So basically you can take the money that you were going to save um, off that and you can put it in a savings account for what you're going to need to pay the doctors and surgeons later. So do you want to create health and try to get the most nutrients you can? More nutrients riding into your body on each calorie equals health. You know, how many nutrients can you get in your body every day? What's the, the vast variety? Are you a person just living on fruit and think, I don't need greens, I don't like them? Well, cultivate a like for them, you know what I mean? Also, um, a wide variety of veggies. Are you I was made for loving you, baby. You were made for loving me. <laughs> uh, Y'all are glad I pulled out that classic, aren't you? Listen. Tonight's dinner, you're going to want to get your paper and pencil, okay? Here's what it is. The butternut squash soup. No fat or low fat. Are you ready? First of all, you will want to buy a butternut squash. And you don't have to buy one this big, but this is half of one right here. What I've done is I've peeled it. I chopped off the hiney and the top. And then I started peeling it with my Titan brand peeler, okay? Because these do really good. Cut off the bottom so it sits firmly. Hold your fingers away because you have to apply a good bit of pressure. And after all, I already cut my finger off yesterday. So then what you're going to do is you're going to scoop out the little seeds just like you were if you were um, making a jack-o'-lantern, right? So that's what you're going to do. Then you're going to cube that up. So you need two cups of the butternut squash peeled. You're going to... Um, you're going to put that, put about half of that in and put the other half in as it's blending. Okay, so two cups. We have one whole lemon peeled. You're not going to use the peel, the whole lemon, throw it in there. We have six long stalks of celery. One tomato, not that big, just a kind of small one, you see. It's this big. And then um, we have, oh yes, three tablespoons of green onions. One half cup of carrots one um, tablespoon of fresh garlic, a bit of jalapeno, which was about half of this size that's left over, okay? But I put a little bit and then I added more because if you don't like much spice, you don't want to ruin it with that. So add a little bit and then if you think this is missing a little something and it needs more kick, add a little bit more jalapeno, okay? So then you also had a small red bell pepper um, so, and a little bit of water. Add your water after you get it blending to see kind of how, how dense you want it. You could use this as a dip or a soup, okay? It could even be a dressing. It would be great over some mustard greens or turnip greens. So, you are going to blend all that up until it's mildly warm in your Vitamix. If you are making this and you have cooked friends in your house, this is a great soup for a hubby because it's very hearty. If you also want a little extra something in there, you can add in some sun-dried tomatoes, which I did not have, and I don't find it needed it. This is really, really good. If you want to blend in some fat in there because you haven't had it already, you can add a little bit of raw whole hemp seeds. I didn't find it needed it. So I want to show you what this looks like plated up, but I'm going to have some fat for the evening, so um, I'm going to put a little bit of avocado on here. So we've got our soup in there. I know y'all can't see that. I just got it on the edge and I was going to be cute. Now, let me see if you can see, okay? Let's see. So I've got a little bit of red peppers going on there just for some garnish. I've got a little bit of um, green onions. And then I'm going to have... See, I could set y'all down. I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, sit still. Let's see. Let's have just a little bit of avocado on here, okay? I wasn't even going to make a video today. I said I was going to finish cleaning out my closet. And I'm almost done doing that. But I didn't want to rush because then I felt like I was going to leave things behind that, that needed to go. You know, their time's done. So anyway, here we go. Hold on. Oh, this is very beautiful. Do not get jalapeno in the finger that you have cut off already, okay? So here's what it looks like. Let me show you. Look at that. Do you see how hearty that is? It's very beautiful. Just the right amount of fat. It's very creamy. 
What I was going to say is, if you have cooked food eaters in the house too, you could clearly blend that up in your high-speed blender or on your stovetop and make it into a hot soup for them. Add some corn tortillas on the side, make them some cornbread, whatever they eat, but turn your low-fat raw vegan dinner into their dinner too. That way you get what you want, right? And they get what they want and everyone's happy. Do you see what I'm saying? So I hope y'all like that and that's the recipe. And you're going to try that, and you're going to make it, and it's going to be so easy, and you're going to say, BAM! <laughs> try that tonight. Y'all like it. See you later.